Hey, what's up? This is Phil Ebner with VideoSchoolOnline.com bringing you another great After Effects tutorial. Today we're using the Graph Editor to make a ball bounce. Hey, so we're back and we're going to get right into this tutorial, trying a new sort of format of these videos and I'm slowly going to be you know increasing the quality of the tutorials and maybe figure out how to put them in a better order and kind of build out a, an actual course here on YouTube using these more advanced After Effects tutorials but for now I'm just kind of testing it out and uh, I wanted to show you this quick tutorial on uh, using the graph editor so it's a really great thing that is somewhat daunting and I semi recently started using it um, I would typically just uh, use easy ease and these other functions to make sh make my motion a little bit more natural but uh, using the graph editor you can make motion of objects you know look really interesting natural unnatural whatever you want so um, let's just look at the project we're going to be doing it's basically a bouncing ball you see that it kind of comes to a rest at the end but it bounces up and the motion, you know, it's more natural than, well, just if you set a few keyframes and the ball went back and forth. So let's get straight to this. So I'm going to start a new composition. So just click the new, create new comp, 1920 by 1080, 10 seconds. This could actually just be five seconds. That's fine. Black background. That's great. So we have our new composition. And then we're going to create our ball. There's a couple ways to do it, but one way is to uh, select the shape tool, double click to create this ellipse that fits your uh, composition size. Drop down the ellipse menu, drop down ellipse path. While holding option or alt on your keyboard, double click the link icon next to the, the 1920 by 1080 and that turns it to 1920 by 1920. So this is a perfect circle with our anchor point in the center. So then I'm just going to click and drag the size of it to the left, holding shift to do it at a faster rate and just make it a ball about that size. So then we're just going to set our basic position keyframes so that it's going to start up above the composition, bounce down and then bounce up a couple times. So press P while you have this shape layer selected to bring up position. And then just press the return or enter key and I'm just going to call this ball. Okay, so then I'm going to go forward about, we'll say 12 frames or so, uh, 10 frames, and set a keyframe at the bottom of this bounce. So then just click the stopwatch there, and at 10 frames, this is where the ball is going to be. Now we're going to go back to the start of the composition and move it off the frame up. Now I'm going to hold shift so it locks it to this Y axis basically so it goes straight up and down so now we have the ball going down and then it stops right there so then we're going to go forward another 10 frames and bring it up about three quarters of the way up so we're using this is like a really bouncy ball <laughs> so uh, we figure it bounces up about that high then we're going to go forward another 10 frames and I'm just going to copy this second keyframe the one where it's at the bottom. So just Command C or Control C and Control V or Command V and that pastes it. So now it goes down, up, down. Then we're gonna go for 10 frames. We're gonna go up, but this time not three quarters of the way, maybe about, you know, one third to a half the way up. And then 10 frames forward and then we can just press Command V to paste that keyframe again. So now let's look at the motion of this. So I'm going to press zero on my keyboard to do a RAM preview. Okay, so now that was a little fast. So what I'm going to do is select all of these with my mouse and then selecting the last one and pressing the Alt Option key, I can click and drag. And so now all of them sort of are lengthened. All the keyframes increase at the same rate. So the, there you have a better bounce, maybe a little too slow, so I'm just going to decrease it. Okay, so let's just play something with this. 
Okay, but now this doesn't look like a bouncing ball. We want it to look like this. It kind of speeds up, bounce, slows down at different spots to make it look natural. So the first thing we're gonna do is easy ease. You can right click these, select keyframe assistant and easy ease. And that helps a little bit. Basically easy ease, what it does is it slows the motion down as it gets to these keyframe. It eases into them and then it eases out of them. So right now it slows into it, slows out of it. And then halfway between these two keyframes, that's when it's moving the fastest. But that's not actually how a bouncing ball would bounce, unless you're you know, on the moon somewhere with zero gravity. Um, and I'm just gonna bring in this preview uh, timeline thing over here so that I can just preview this part of the composition, not the whole five seconds. So as I was saying, that's not how a ball would bounce. So what we can do is look at the graph editor. Dun, dun, dun. So select your keyframes and select the graph editor. Uh-oh, see all this stuff? See what I just brought up? All right, so then I'm just gonna click this fit all graph to view so that I get a nice view of this. So now you see kind of the uh, speed and motion of this uh, ball. See it goes down. See this is where it's the fastest right here and it has the actual figures on the left side of this graph. And then it goes down, and here it has zero motion, so zero speed, uh, zero pixels per second. That's what this graph is saying. And then as time goes up, this is where it's fastest again, and then zero speed right there, and that's where it's at the top. So let's just play through it, and you can kind of watch it go through the graph. Okay, so but we want it to sl speed up as it bounces. So what we're gonna do is click this handle down here. So if you click one of your keyframes, you can click the handle and drag it out. And as you can see, it's getting really fast right around here. It's closer to where it's going to bounce. We can even click this, this one, this keyframe, and bring in this handle. So now it's moving about 8,500 pixels per second right before it hits the bottom. So let's look what this looks like. So it looks better. See, it kind of speeds into that bounce. It might be a little too fast, so I'm just gonna bring it back. But we also want it to, it hits the bottom and it speeds out of that. So it's going to be super fast out of that bounce. So I'm gonna just bring this keyframe back and then for this third keyframe, move it to the left as well. So now we have this sort of graph that looks like this with this, the, the fastest speeds right near the bounce at the bottom. And then it, see that looks pretty good because then it, at this top keyframe where it's bouncing up, this is where it should be the slowest because if you bounce a ball you, and you took a video of it, it would slow down at the top of the bounce and see how this slope of this, this graph slows into that. Now we want it to slow out of that, so we're gonna take this keyframe and drag it out, and then over here on this keyframe where it bounces again, we're gonna drag in. And so it's gonna be another sort of fast bounce on this keyframe. Same here, just drag these keyframes in. You're not even dragging the keyframe in, you're just dragging the speed of it in. So now let's look at this, bounce, bounce. So that's looking pretty good. Now this last one, sort of the same idea. We just wanna drag this, when it's up at the top of this bounce, we wanna drag it out so it's a little bit slower. And then it you know, kinda speeds into that last bounce. Now a bouncing ball would really bounce a few more times and we get smaller and smaller and smaller, but for our case, I'm just gonna use three bounces. Um, or three up and downs as an example. So now it's looking more like a natural bouncy ball. So this is looking re really good and this is basically what we did with the graph editor. It's a great way to change the speed of your motion of whatever objects you want to uh, make speed up or slow down. 
One thing we can do to make this look even more natural is add some motion blur to it. So just make sure you select this enable motion blur. Then underneath on this layer, on the ball layer, click the motion blur option. And that just makes it look even more natural. You know, what we could do is even create a little squish in this. And maybe I'll do that in a future lesson. But for now, that is how to use the graph editor to make your motion look more natural. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lessons. Please, please, please subscribe to the Video School Online YouTube channel. Please like this video, send me a comment. If you need help with anything, let me know and I'll create a tutorial for you. Share it with your friends and we'll see you next time. Bye.